In this AppSquare review, I'm going to walk you through the software and I'm going to show you everything you need to know step by step. So what is actually AppSquare? AppSquare is actually a no-code solution for converting your online store or your blogs into a rendered mobile apps with built-in analysis. They can actually send push notification and leverage built-in analysis. They can also design and publish a mobile apps for your online shops and blog without any coding. So who's actually suitable for AppSquare itself? AppSquare is actually suitable for online seller blogger who want an easy way to create branded mobile apps that increase your retention. So without wasting much time, let us just walk you through AppSquare as the software itself. So what you're actually looking at is actually the main webs, the main platform itself. It's very simple, it's very clean. So what you actually can see is all the only navigation is actually called My Apps. And there's actually two other navigations which you can create is actually shops, uh, shopping apps or a blogger apps. Okay, let me show you the shopping apps itself by creating a apps for your shopping online. Let's click into here. Okay, so what you actually can uh, connect to it's actually called WooCommerce and Shopify. All you need to do is just add in your name and your shop URL for WooCommerce and let's say you have a Shopify, just add in your URL. So unfortunately, I do not have any WooCommerce or Shopify right now. So I am able to show you everything step by step. So I really apologize for that. But everything is actually very simple. You just need to follow it here step by step, which is actually six steps in here. First, get started. Just clean everything. Get the API key, payment gateway, WooCommerce plugin, banner plugin, and finish. Okay. So uh, I will not be able to show you. I really apologize for that, okay? Because I do not have both of these shopping platforms, all right? So the next one which I can actually show you is actually the blogging apps itself, okay? By creating it, just press this and then you can actually connect to WordPress or Ghost, okay? So it's actually three simple steps by getting started. Up square banner block in and finish, okay? I actually have a WordPress blog, okay? I'm going to show it to you now. Okay, let me just copy my WordPress blog and just create a name here. And then what you need to do now is just to wait and then just press next. Okay, so this is actually the UpSquare banner plugin. Install UpSquare banner plugin for WordPress on your website. So install the smart banner plugin. Okay, by installing a smart banner plugin on your WordPress website your mobile apps install will increase up to 40%. The majority of your apps install will come from this channel. Okay, So in order to increase your uh, in this uh, mobile apps install by 40%, you need to create this smart uh, banner plugin. Okay, If let's say you want this banner plugin, just download it from here. Okay, So once you download it from here, you can actually see from the bottom of the screen, you can actually see the plugin. Uh, they can actually ask you to install the plugin over here. I mean, install the apps over here on your blog itself. Okay, definitely it will actually increase up to 40%. Okay, this is actually proven by AppSquare itself. All right, so after you install, then just press next. And congratulations on setting up your apps. Okay, so right now your apps is actually completed. Okay, so what you actually see now is actually the apps editing of the apps itself all right so you can actually see on the top there's actually some navigation there's actually team design apps icon ads payment and publish so over there you can actually build your apps here okay so right now actually i can we can actually choose between three teams okay let us just uh, go into one of this team here and then i click into it okay so right now we are going into the team setting itself okay so from here you can actually you can actually customize the uh, uh, appearance also as customize the home but the feed the single article the search and more okay so this is actually the preview the center one is actually the preview on the right you can actually edit and change the color icon and topology and layout okay so so for the appearance, you can actually change the color. So the color, you can actually change the primary text color, secondary text color, accents color, background, and the card. You can actually change the primary text color as well. Here I can change to red or back to white. Okay, 
the secondary text color also can change then your favorite icon background color you can also change the active icon icon color and inactive car icon color as well okay so next you can actually change the top two bar the text color background bottom two bar text color background and active text slash icon color okay so this is actually the appearance itself so for the appearance for icon and topology you can actually see different type of topology okay there's tons of topology for you to choose okay and then the screen icon you can actually change the screen icon okay you can search for maybe you want to change to a love okay let me show you the screen icon okay it's right at the bottom here okay so right now for feet it's actually a like a world map i can change to a star so it's actually a star okay so all these things is also able to change okay so you can actually change according to your liking all right so the after this you can actually change the layout as well okay so you can actually uh, do the image radius and then the bottom two bar active item variable either text dot line or none okay let me show it to you what you what i meant by this okay for this active item variance, you can actually change to dots, which is here. Text, okay, you see the home feed favorite, or you can change to none, so it's actually, you can't see anything, or line, so it's actually a line. So, uh, it really depends on what you like, so you can actually customize everything here, alright? So, this is basically the appearance for your front, the home page, color, icon, and layout. So, next is actually, uh, customize your home okay so your home is actually the same okay you can actually customize the color of the header read more button order or component okay you can actually either promote popular or recommended we can actually change the order of pro uh, component as well okay so you can actually change everything again all right so after that you can actually uh, customize your feed as well okay feed is actually a two bar you can actually see a two bar active line variant it's actually lying here, it's integrating here. Let me just change and show it to you. Right now it's actually a dot. So or a text. Okay. So it's actually no line. So it depends on what you like, you can actually put in a line. Okay, to make it more colorful. Okay, you can actually change the color to black as well. Active text color. Or you can actually change the cut layout. So right now you're actually using two columns unequal height. And if you want, just change to one column or one column unequal height. Okay, so you can actually see here it's actually smaller in the middle is bigger. Or you can change two column, okay, which equal height. Okay, so basically you can actually change the fit over here. Okay, or single article. So some uh, some uh, coloring as well. You can actually change the header. You can remove the header. So that right now there's actually display header is author is disappear. Okay, uh, display metadata. So right now there's actually some metadata. So you can display section on text and display title as well. Okay. So you can actually uh, toggle around and all these other display section and display title as well. So all these things you can actually customize under single article. So for the search itself, so you actually do the cut layout. Okay. One column, one column unequal height, two column, or two column unequal height. Okay. So the last one you can change is actually more. Okay. So for more, it's also under cut layout. Okay, so you can actually change all this. It's also the, the, the identical type of cut layout as well. Alright, so right now, what I'm going to show you right now is actually this apps icon itself. Okay, the apps icon you can actually change is the web iOS, Android, and notification. So you can actually upload your icon. Okay, format is actually PNG, JP, JPEG. The max dimension is 256px. Max Minimum dimension, sorry. The max dimension is actually 1200px. The max size file is 3MB. So you can actually drag and drop your file icon. Alright. Okay. So you can actually change the background color, adjust icon color, icon size, adjust notification icon threshold, invert notification icon color. Okay. So after that, it's actually the ads itself. Okay. So why advertise in apps? Okay. Advertise and gain revenue with your mobile apps. Okay. So they can actually precise audience targeting, no blocking of ads income. Uh, of course, you need to upgrade to pro. Okay. So for payment as well, you need to upgrade. Okay. You need to uh, upload your apps icon so you can actually set up the payment. And then you can actually payment. Once your payment is actually done, so you can actually publish the apps itself. All right. So, so for here, it's actually the plugin. 
okay so the apps plugin right now you can actually uh, the list of plugin on your apps is you can actually add in install google analysis also a website plugin with the wordpress part by banner which we uh, mentioned earlier on okay so uh, basically this is about it and right now back to the home screen okay so you can actually see the as i created earlier on there's actually a three dot so you can actually either edit it back to uh once you edit it you can actually back to the main screen as earlier on or you can actually delete it okay so basically up square is very simple easy to use if let's say you have a shop okay shopify or woocommerce or you have a blog and you want to increase attention to people you know by installing these apps okay up square is actually definitely the one you need to go to okay there's actually an alternative product called zoho creator basically okay Zoho creator is actually a monthly cost but right now if let's say you've got a deal right now if since you're watching my video okay this is actually a up square is actually uh this uh, app sumo deal how about i show you the app sumo deal itself okay okay so for the app sumo deal right now they actually can come in three tiers okay the first tier is actually 59 dollars actually have three shop apps three blocks apps okay then the bottom is actually the same okay you can actually create android ios apps unlimited push notification mobile apps analysis mobile revenue analysis google play publish app store publish you can actually have the for the blog plan features android as well custom notification analysis google play publish app store publish or ads monetization okay so if you want to increase your number of apps okay you can actually upgrade to second tier by 10 shop apps and 10 block apps and if let's say you have more blocks or more shopping apps of course you can upgrade to tier 3 for 30 shopping apps and 30 block apps so the bottom is actually remain the same okay so right now since i mentioned the, another alternative product is called zoho creator and if let's say you are a, a shopify owner or your blog owner and if you want to save costs of course you go for up square because it's actually a one-time purchase and it's actually a lifetime deal for zoho creator as i mentioned earlier it's actually a monthly fee we will actually incur more more uh, cost for you okay so right now what i actually recommend is up square and if you want to do a purchase for up square go ahead and use my link in the description box okay i will earn a small commission it's actually affiliate link but it will not affect the price of 59 dollars 119 or 179 okay you will not affect this is just to uh, support this brand new channel itself all right so I come to my end of this Upsquare review. I hope you actually enjoy. And if you have any question, feel free to comment down below. And so one more thing is, if let's say you enjoy uh, watching a uh, review of software, go ahead and subscribe my channel and hit the thumbs up uh, and uh, hit the thumbs up and hit the notification bell as well. So to the next review, guys, I will see you. Take care. Goodbye.